Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a brand new review. Today I'm discussing Black Panther, the brand new MCU film. Yes, this is the 18th one in the MCU, right before we're about to hit Marvel's Avengers Infinity War. And, I mean, what a better way to get me more hyped for Infinity War. Black Panther, I will say this right now, is one of the best MCU films to date. I know we say this a lot. I know a lot of people say this after each Marvel film, but I really mean this. This is one of the best MCU films to date. And this is Ryan Coogler's best film to date. I'm going to say this just because the film feels so different than any other Marvel film that we've ever seen before. Now, get me wrong, it has some of its moments that a Marvel film would have, of course. But it, overall, the film feels so different tonally throughout the whole entire film, even from the second the movie started. It just feels like a different type of film than we've ever seen in the MCU. And I think that comes out of the play because of Ryan Coogler's style. You feel Ryan Coogler's touches, his mastery all over this film. And this film starts, it gets right into the world building and mythology of Wakanda. And for you guys that know me, I love, like you guys know, I love my mythology and my world building. And when they're building up this world of Wakanda, just talking about it, striving it, it gets you so into the feel of this film that you're just right in the go already on board with what this world is and what it has to offer as the film plays out the african culture that they portray in here is so represented so rightly that it makes me smile throughout the whole film knowing what this film is going to do for the culture of geeks and the culture of just our society in general within hollywood just overall that this film is such a success on every single level makes me even more happy i have to say dear god the cinematography for here is fantastic I mean, seriously the cinematography if it is not nominated for best cinematography this year i know i haven't i know the year just started but I, i'll be surprised if this isn't one of the best looking films of this year i mean the film is magnificent it is beautiful. I mean, there's some moments in here where I was just sitting there sitting in awe of the amount of moments in here that are going to show up on the One Perfect Moment page on Twitter. Even the story goes in here, it feels very Shakespearean at times. It feels very unique to its touches, which again, go to the main tone of this film and the main style that you feel from this. And that's something that I think a lot of Marvel films have been lacking on, is that even though some of them ha carry a different genre and a different tone to it, say a la Spider-Man is a John Hughes film of some sorts, Thor Ragnarok is more of a buddy cop crime kind of action type movie, but you look at this film and the tone is completely different than those. But the style is felt throughout the whole film. Given we do get some touches from other directors in their style in the, some other MCU films, but this is the first time that I've actually looked at this and said, this feels like a completely different film than we've ever seen before. This gets me into my performances in here. Chadwick Boseman as Takala is fantastic to say the least. I mean, he is so good and already engrossed into the role of Black Panther. He's a badass, he's menacing, and his relationship with every character in here is fantastic. His sister in here, Shuri, their relationship is so magnificent. It's so relatable, but it's also so, like, you can just believe it. It flows so well. And that goes for every relationship in here that the Takala and every character has with one another. You believe it. It flows perfectly. And I know that's a lot of what Ryan Coogler is really good at is relationships and characters, and he brings that to Black Panther. I already mentioned Shuri. She's one of the best parts about here. I love seeing his little sister in here. And apparently she's the smartest mind in the MCU now, even smarter than Tony Stark. So that's pretty cool to say the least. And moving in there, Michonne from Walking Dead is in here. She's a complete badass and she owns the screen when she's on there. Lupita Nyong'o, one of the most beautiful ladies in Hollywood is in here as well. And again, this is something I come down to in Marvel films where the relationships usually never work. Lupita's character works hands down completely. She's not just a love interest for Takala. She is a full throughout character that works in every single aspect of the right that i loved seeing her character pop up and she has such a good relationship with takala that i believe in it and not just their love but in the way that they're played out throughout the whole film we get to one of my favorite parts about this film and that is eric Kilmarger, portrayed brilliantly by michael b jordan of course michael b jordan has shown up for all of ryan cooler's films so far and i mean the, it's a match made in heaven michael b jordan i will say this right now and maybe some people won't agree with me but i think that's fine Killmonger is the best villain in the MCU. Absolutely the best villain in the MCU. And Michael B. Jordan has portrayed a fantastic villain in every sense of the way, where at times you can even kind of side with him. And that's saying a lot. That's something very unique that we've seen in a Marvel film. That I mean, the MCU has not had a lot of good villains. But I'll even say this and add on one more further. 
Killmonger is the best comic book villain we've had in a comic book movie since the Dark Knight's Joker. I mean that wholeheartedly. I know, I know, he's still not as good as the Joker as Heath Ledger's Joker. But Killmonger seriously is up on that level of how well written and how well performed he was as this character. Yes, it goes down to the writing that I think a lot of Marvel films are going to have to take this style and say, hey... They actually gave some concept and gave some backstory to the villain. Maybe we should start doing this for other films. And I think that's something that's going to be really, after seeing this film, any other Marvel film that comes after this, it's going to be really hard for me to not pick apart the villain even more. Seeing that Marvel did it very well in here, and I know Ryan Coogler directed this film and wrote it as well, but that's going to come down to a big fair point to any other Marvel film I see after this. Again, the rest of the cast that I didn't even get to mention is also fantastic. Everyone has a moment to shine in here that works brilliantly for the place of the movie. Then small touches to the film are brilliant that I have to say even more and adds on to how much this film is grand. Add on to the costume design and the culture that is represented in this film. I mean, the costumes in here are so good. Another thing that if it's not nominated at the end of the year, I don't know what the hell the Oscars are looking at. I'm already looking forward to the rest rest of the year but i know that the costume design in here is like for sure gone conclusion that it'll get nominated it is some of the best costume design i've ever seen in the film the score is magnificent i picked it apart so easily and how it's just running through each scene it fits in each scene and then the way it intertwines in the kendrick lamar's soundtrack that he made for this film adds on to more layers. Kendrick Lamar made a fantastic soundtrack that if you've just been listening to and you've liked it so far, elevates each and every scene every time the score or every time the soundtrack adds into this world. Let me get to one of my last favorite parts about this film. It is the action. The action is superb. I will say some of the action was a little choppy at times and kind of hurt my eyes at times where it's kind of like the bolts are flashing and stuff, but at the same time it didn't. Some of the action here is so well choreographed. I was really hoping for a scene like an action scene kind of like from Creed, but I understand like Bear none, it's kind of hard to film that with kind of all the CGI you have to add in here. But the car chases, the action scenes in here kind of felt like they were straight out of a James Bond film and sometimes gave that like spy espionage thriller to it that was just had me on the edge of my seat, jaw dropping at some points that I was just so engrossed to know like how strong the Black Panther is, how strong, where he gets his powers from, this whole world of Wakanda, it all adds into it. And the action in here is, it has two, some of the best moments I think we've seen in the MCU yet. The world building, the action, the acting in here is all top bar some of the best in the mcu as of yet i think it comes down to say this is that black panther is a near masterpiece for the mcu and i'm really portraying this because i usually say this is that when i go into a film with a lot of hype behind me i usually leave a little bit disappointed or a little bit just like eh, okay i need to think about it a little more there's a couple of films in my life that i've seen where it has actually exceeded that and hit those expectations Three of them are actually in the MCU, one being Guardians of the Galaxy, two being Spider-Man Homecoming, and three being Black Panther. Adds on to the list of those films. And I know there's a bunch of others, but Black Panther now adds on to that list that I've come out and it exceeded my expectations. And my expectations, let me tell you, were really high up. On the end of the day, there is only one problem that I can actually find within Black Panther for me, and that is at times the film can feel kind of slow and it's a slow burn pace throughout a little bit of the film but it's a good pace for me i like these slow burns but i have to address that because i think some people are going to go in here and want more action or want more faster paced and also maybe want some more humor there weren't a lot of jokes thrown out throughout the whole film kind of how some mcu films do i know we just got thor that was like totally a comedy but even before that, like, Spider-Man had jokes throughout it, Guardians has jokes throughout it, Avengers even had jokes throughout it, hell, even Civil War does. For some reason, Black Panther didn't carry a ton of jokes like that, which I give him props for. That's a risk that Marvel took, and I think in the end, it worked for them. With all that said, I'm very happy to be giving Black Panther an A. I can't wait to hear what your guys' thoughts are of Black Panther. I think this is going to be a really exciting movie for tons of people, and I, I really can't wait to hear what your guys' thoughts are. So make sure to comment down below, tell me your guys' thoughts on it, tell me what you guys are thinking of it, make sure to look out for my spoiler talk review of Black Panther over on Rhino Tools channel later this weekend. I'm also going to be re-ranking all the Marvel films with Black Panther intertwined in there. It's a really hard list to make. And of course, guys, you always, always know to make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, especially if you're new. Make sure to go check out Sam Rashawn Films down below where you guys can find tons of 
advanced screens coming up for movies coming soon and also some movie news as well so if you're into movie news and reading some articles you guys might as well check us out down below so as always guys make sure to go hit on all my social media down below so we can converse and talk movies because that's what's important here is talking some movies as always know this remember to stay classy and of course wakanda forever